Hi everyone, welcome to Fix It Up, your place for knowledge that will save you money. Today we're going to do a compression test on our matrix. We drove it in here under its own power. We're going to go through and check the motor for compression to see if we have equal compression in each cylinder. If we do, that means the engine's okay, and we're going to go ahead and start tearing it apart after that. So let's go ahead and get started. First we'll start by popping the hood. I'd like to go ahead and take out the fuse for the fuel pump. I was able to find the cover behind the motor, so I think I can salvage this electrical panel. So if you look in here, it'll tell you the different fuses and what they're to. We want a 20 amp fuse for the fuel injection system. It's right here. We're going to pull that fuse and that will shut off any fuel from coming to the motor. Next we're going to take our compression tester and we're going to hook it up to the motor. We're going to start by removing all the spark plugs and then we'll screw this into each spark plug hole and it'll tell us the pressure of the cylinder. If the pressure of all the cylinders is within 30 percent from the highest number to the lowest number then we know the engine's good. If there's more than 30 percent between the highest cylinder and the lowest we know we have a problem internally with the motor and at that point we should just stop. So let's go ahead and remove the spark plugs. Okay, in order to access the spark plugs we're going to need to remove the cover off the top of the motor. These are just 10 millimeter nuts. We'll take them loose, take the cover off, and that'll give us access to our spark plugs. And the cover just lifts right off. Now that we have access to our spark plugs, we're going to go ahead and remove the coils. And these need to be jiggled a little and they pop right out. Now we have access to our spark plugs. We're going to go ahead and stick in our wrench. Break them loose. Before we remove them, we're going to spray everything out with compressed air. Okay, now that we have all our spark plugs removed, we can go ahead and install our compression tester. This end goes in where the spark plug was, and this will tell us what the pressure of the cylinder is. So we just take it, screw it in. Okay, so we screw it in until it's nice and tight, so it gets a good seal. Okay, so now that we're all set up, we're going to crank the engine over and see what the pressure reading is. Looks like this engine is at exactly 200 pounds on this cylinder. So we're going to go ahead and check the rest of the cylinders and we're going to compare our numbers and see if the engine's any good. Now we'll go ahead and put in our bolts and we'll tighten them down and that's the compression test. So this is an easy step that you can do in about 30 minutes. As long as you have a compression tester and a full battery you can go ahead and do this yourself. It'll tell you if the engine's okay. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you have any tips or tricks or know a better way of doing it, please let us know. We're always looking for new information.